When you learn your child has a congenital heart defect, it's normal to feel overwhelmed. Our team of cardiac specialists is with you every step of the way. Here you'll learn about hypoplastic left heart syndrome, HLHS, and how it's treated. HLHS is often diagnosed during pregnancy, or less commonly, shortly after a baby is born. In a heart with HLHS, the left ventricle and left-sided heart valves are underdeveloped, affecting normal blood flow through the heart. Red blood returning from the lungs can't get through the left ventricle, so it's forced to cross over to the right side of the heart, mixing with the incoming blue blood. Before birth, infants have an opening between the main lung and body artery, called the ductus arteriosus, which allows the red and blue blood returning to the right ventricle to be pumped to both the lungs and the body. The baby is therefore dependent on the ductus arteriosus to provide blood flow to the body. The ductus arteriosus closes after birth, which significantly restricts the blood flow to the body. If left untreated, babies can become severely ill. Shortly after birth, an infant with HLHS may be given a medication called prostaglandin to keep the ductus arteriosus open, maintaining blood flow to the body. But a long-term solution requires multiple heart surgeries. The Norwood procedure is usually performed within the first week of life and includes three elements. An aortic arch reconstruction, which reconstructs the two small aorta using part of the pulmonary artery. An atrial septectomy, which removes the wall between the two atrial chambers to clear red blood's return from the lungs. Finally, a tube is placed between the right ventricle and lung artery, which creates a conduit for the right ventricle to pump blood out of the lungs. Additional procedures include the bidirectional glen procedure, typically performed when a child is three to five months old. It connects the large vein draining the upper body to the lung arteries to bring blue blood directly to the lungs. The Fontan procedure, Typically performed when a child is three to five years old, it connects the large vein that returns blood from the lower part of the body to the lung arteries, allowing the rest of the blue blood returning to the body to reach the lungs. At Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, our team of nationally ranked surgeons perform hundreds of heart surgeries each year and will help identify the right procedure for your child. Learn more by visiting choa.org slash HLHS.